I'm Tom Tertia with the HANA Global Center of Excellence. And Esri built a demo on top of HANA. And what they found reinforced the three key advantages of HANA under ArcGIS, which is GIS, acceleration, innovation, and simplification. So when you use ArcGIS, there are some standard best practices that, that you're taught. One is anything over 10 million rows or so to use aggregate tables. And the other thing you're taught to do is character-based filtering. So you filter on zip code or borough, not on a geometric shape like a polygon. And the, and the other thing you're taught is to break queries up into small slices. And so what Esri did in this demo was they took 311 data from New York City and they loaded it in. Now, this could apply to telco, it could apply to utilities like water or sewer that a municipality may run. This just happens to be noise data from New York City. So what they did was they loaded 18 million records in and this map actually doesn't use any summary tables, runs against the base data, and it came up live when I was scrolling through here. So this is not a screenshot or a, or a bitmap, it's actually the real map. And the query that is behind here, not important what it says, it's just important to note that it's running against the base data and doing the aggregates on the fly, which is a core HANA strength. But the other thing you notice, it's a very narrow query. It's only getting a couple of fields and doing a couple of ag aggregations. Now, what Esri decided to do was, well, why don't we write one query instead of 30, is it three zero, one behind each web map, and then build the web maps on top of this one query. And so there's some SQL script in here, but here's the key thing. Against other databases that Esri supports, this will take two to three minutes to run. With HANA, it runs in three quarters of a second. That's 750 milliseconds. This query comes back. So the best practices that you typically follow creating content with ArcGIS, turns out that HANA obviates them. You don't need to do them. I can go against the base data. I don't need summary tables. And I don't need to break the queries up into 30, which certainly reduces governance and greatly in, uh, increases the speed of innovation because I write one query instead of 30. So all kinds of things that reinforce what our message is about HANA and ArcGIS. So let's go to the map. And this map is live right now. And you can see as I click around on the map, I'm getting instantaneous response time when I click. And that query is running against the base data directly and one query instead of 30. So just to recap, no summary tables were needed. I was able to write one query instead of 30, which greatly simplifies things, speeds up innovation, and reduces governance.